BSP tree. Uh, BSP tree stands for binary space partition. It is used to speed up ray tracing process during render. XSI currently use uh, BSP tree and heavily use BSP tree, especially when ray tracing is involved. Why BSP tree is needed? Well, if you were to render, let's say, a given scene, and uh, you cast a ray in the scene, if BSP tree didn't exist, for example, the computer would have to take the ray, take each triangle contained in the scene and basically just test if the actual ray did intersect with the triangle. So let's say for example the scene contains about a million triangle. Uh, it means that for every every time a ray is being casted in the scene it will test a million triangle. Uh, let's say for example we are setting the anti-leasing level at uh, something like 3 3 means that there's going to be 64 sub pixels inside the pixel it means that it's going to test the scene 64 times for a given pixel and each of those those rays being cast in the scene is going to test a million triangle so that means it's pretty inefficient doing it this way BSP tree allows to actually save some time by regrouping part triangles into boxes there's really two parameters. Let's say we have a given room that contains a, an audience, a group of people, for example. We could say that the, the room is basically the scene bounding box and people contained in the room, being present in the room, are triangles. So, for example, you want to take this room and split it into smaller rooms by creating walls, virtual walls, that is going to split the rooms in two. That's why that's why we call that binary space. So it's really dividing in two. So as you can see we could divide the, the actual room into three main axes. Uh, let's say from left to right, from front to back, and probably uh, also from uh, floor to ceiling. So it's really the X, Y, Z. Obviously, if we do split, let's say, between the floor and the ceiling, and it turns out we are uh, splitting the, the room nearby the, the arms, for example, it means that a human being will be basically inside two rooms, the top you know, rooms and the bottom room. So the actual recollection is that each of these sub-rooms, let's say, would have to store that a given person is within the room. So this is pretty much what's happening on the uh, BSP tree side where a room is the scene extent or the scene box where a sub room is what we call a voxel. A voxel can contain two things. It can contain other voxels or it can contain triangles. Whenever a voxel contains a triangle it is called in the uh, technical term leaf node. So see this as being a tree. So the way that you do have, for example, a room, so this will be the trunk of your tree, for example. As soon as you split the, the actual room in two, that creates two branches. These two branches could also be split off and that will create sub-branch. And as you split, eventually you'll get to very fine num high number of branches and eventually those branches will stop being splitted and will only contain triangles and those that's why we call that leaf node because it's really at the at the, at the top of the tree structure that's why we call that this way there's really two parameters in bsp tree parameters available there's depth and size